Dear learners, welcome to the MOOC Academic Counseling for Open and Distance Learning Learners. This is the third and last video on the module 21st Century ODL Learners. In this video, we shall discuss in detail about the evolution of the ODL system. The learners are evolving with time. This makes it imperative for ODL to change and switch to the new evolving needs of its learners. The changes are important from both the systems as well as the learners perspectives. As we proceed further, we shall discuss a few of these changes and development in ODL. One must appreciate the ways in which the ODL system has been able to utilize the modern day technologies to its advantage. ODL uses media and other technologies to facilitate learning across the world, especially even in remote areas that lack institutional infrastructure. The educational resources range from print to even virtual reality. The current model is able to develop programs and courses of the finest quality with interactive using the web, multimedia and other technologies. The ODL institutions across the globe are hiring experts such as content developers, academic counselors, information technology professionals, media experts, instructional designers, etc. to provide the best experience to their learners and provide resources in different format such as audio, video or multimedia. Recent development of open educational resources, MOOCs and artificial intelligence etc. helps create very engaging courses. The use of augmented reality, virtual reality, which is uh, popularly known as AR, VR, makes it possible to teach practical skill-oriented courses in open and distance learning. There are over 100 of repositories relating to almost all disciplines which the open universities can use to create their courses. Using interactive technology in educational resources can significantly enhance the learner content interaction. Several, several researches testify that students who interact more in sessions have an advantage over the others. Collaborative online interactions such as chat rooms, forums, etc. help in better understanding of the course content. Online interactions between the teacher and student help the student engage more with the course. The learning analytics integrated in the online platforms help the learners to access themselves and improve the learning outcomes. Teachers will also able to keep a close track on the progress of each student and help those who may be at the risk of dropping out. This will boost the personal attention given to students, improve the learning experiences and affect course completion rates positively. Let us see how ODL has been able to improve its learner support with the use of modern technology. The given chart will help us know and understand a variety of ways which are used by open and distance learning to develop and disseminate their educational programs. Using learning management systems and MOOCs, open repositories, e-portfolios, YouTube, online quizzes, interactions, conferences, etc. are recent innovations which prove very helpful to the learners. They can learn better and clear 
their doubts by accessing these facilities. Relentless efforts are being made to develop a digital approach, not only to learning, but also for other procedures of the student cycle, such as admission, enrollment, assessment, certifications, etc. Learner and academic counselor interactions are in place to provide ample support to the learners. And in addition to this, uh, the learner, learner interaction is also promoted that brings about new collaborations and better outputs. It's now time for us to discuss how the ODL system organizes its assessing competencies to improve the learning experiences. The important factor for open and distance learners assessing competency is that it needs to be authentic to ensure the learner's credibility for the courses they have undertaken or studied. Hence, here the sole focus is not only to evaluate the learning outcome. Open universities around the world have adopted continuous evaluation process and promote lifelong learning. The assessments often comp comprise of both objective and essay type tests. There are also other assessments such as online quizzes, paper presentations, term papers, journal, and group presentations, etc. Such things help the learners with the advantage of peer review. All these facilities are now made available in technology enabled learning environments. The use of digital badges, micro credentials, etc., help the learners to present their achievements before employers with assured authenticity, thus improving their chances of the employment significantly. Blockchain technology helps in the distribution of permanent temper-proof credentials. It is designed in such a way that it contains all the necessary details such as the course content, examinations taken, learner competencies, projects completed, extracurricular activities involved, etc. We must also discuss about how the ODL system obtain the necessary quality assurance in its learning environment. Quality cannot be compromised in any level of education. The quality of ODL system is often regarded as subordinate to that of the conventional educational system. But as ODL evolves to become an important system in the educational sphere, many countries have come ahead to form overseeing bodies or agencies that can strictly ensure high standards in their ODL setup. It is important so as to create a level ground between both ODL learners and the conventional one. There are a few open universities or open institutions around the world that have set benchmarks for others to follow. One example of such an institution is the Open University of UK, which is a model for many other institutions across the globe. Call Commonwealth of Learning's review and improvement model is one of the most robust systems that have been implemented by the institutions worldwide to assess and ensure quality in open and distance learning. Lastly, we shall take a look at how the ODL system effectively uses its staff in the evolving scenarios. With first emerging changes and constant advancements in technology, 
it is crucial for the ODL staff to regularly update themselves and develop a synchronization with new systems or practices. The competencies of the staff and teachers significantly affect the learning experiences. Hence, they must be subject to regular training to make the best out of the technological boons made available to them. Methods such as workshops, in-house trainings, conferences, seminars, external training sessions, etc. are vital to help the teachers and staff enhance their abilities. This will help them to guide the learners in the best possible ways. Let us sum up what we have discussed so far in this module. By now, it should be clear that the learners of 21st century are very different from the predecessors in many ways. They adapt easily to changes and possess better skill sets. The new generation learners are heavily dependent on technology which makes learning interesting and interactive for them. Collaborative efforts and experimental learning are preferred by them. The ODL system hence had to create equal opportunities for these learners to be on par their conventional counterparts. It has been able to make the best use of all the available technologies to cope with the demands of the modern learners and is consistently upgrading itself to stay competent with the conventional system. Given here is a list of references that have been used in the preparation of this module. This will help you in detail understanding of the topics with have discussed here. Now this brings us to end of the module on 21st century learners. Do watch the videos of the next module. Thank you.